Hello everybody, this is Gemini Jets 1975 coming at you with another promised video today. This time I will be doing a comparison of the Aero Classics and Gemini Jets United 737 Max 9. Uh, before I get started with me, I have two very special guests. First, we have Aviation Calgary. Please say hello. Hello everyone. And then we have uh, Aviation JXXX. Please say hello. All right, so if you look at these two models, without me getting into any detail so far, they do look very similar, which is a good thing because you don't want one company completely overdoing the model and another one missing, you know, everything, all the details entirely. Um, first of all, the model on your right is going to be the Gemini Jets model. The model on your left is the Aero Classics model. Um, one thing you can notice, first off, the Aero Classics has the Wi-Fi dome, as while the Gemini Jets does not. I have been told not all aircraft have the Wi-Fi dome. Also, when the aircraft is built in Seattle, it is not built with uh, Wi-Fi capability, or at least not installed, I should say. So that's not necessarily a miss. It's just, you know, a, um, a detail. Now, one thing that you could consider a miss, okay, if you look at the Gemini Jets model on the right, the engines are a little bit of a light gray color. However, on the Aero Classics model, the engines are white. So the engines are supposed to be white, uh, so that is a little bit of a miss on the Gemini Jet side. The advanced winglets, okay, uh, you could probably say the Gemini Jets version looks a little bit better because the bottom scimitar is pointed down just a little bit more than it is on the Aero Classics. Uh, another thing, if you look underneath, I'll zoom in just a little bit. If you look underneath the gold cheat line, uh the Gemini Jets version is is kind of a is a very pale gray or silver whereas the Aero Classics is darker. The Gemini Jets is closer to what the actual aircraft looks like. Also, another thing, the wings on the Gemini Jets model are more of a silver color, which is also apparently Although it's hard to tell on pictures which one is more accurate. Is it the lighter silver of the Aero Classics or the darker shiny silver of the Gemini Jets? That one is a little bit more of a, you know, of a preference call. Because um, it's also hard to tell from pictures which one, you know, you could say is more accurate. Now, if you go... To something like the well you go to something like the uh, nose okay the Gemini Jets you got the nose cone and the Aero Classics you do not um, the pitot tubes on the Aero Classics are more are more visible than they are on the Gemini Jets although you can see them on the Gemini Jets but they're definitely more visible on Aero Classics. If you turn the aircraft around, they're more visible on that side, just like they are on... So apparently the pitot tubes are in the right place, depending on which model you look at. Aero Classics, they're the same on both sides. Gemini Jets, they're different on one side versus the other. That's definitely getting more nitpicky, but... Uh, this is kind of a nitpicky type of a video. So now if you flip the aircraft over, okay. So on the Gemini Jets version, okay, you have all of this detail on the underside of the engines. You got the the red stripes and all of the markings on the underside. Uh, cargo slash um, luggage compartments, red stripe there. 
this is all on Gemini Jets. Uh, Max 9 up here, uh, the logo. Then if you come over here to the Aero Classics, um, you don't have all of the red markings. So up by the uh, nose of the aircraft, there's no red stripe. On the underside of the engines, you do have a little bit of a red stripe, but it does not continue across the fuselage, unlike right here on the Gemini Jets version. Uh, stand hole, of course, uh, in a little bit different places. Um, and then here's your, um, what are they called, APU access doors. Both of them have that. Uh, detail on the Gemini Jets version, there's the anti-tail uh, strike bump. And then on the Aero Classics version, it's there, but it's not quite as pronounced. So, overall, okay. Overall, I would have to say, oh, and then the landing gear. That's another thing that I need to talk about. Okay. All right, as far as the landing gear, the Gemini Jets version is slightly higher off the ground. Plus, if you look, the engines do have a nice clearance. Uh, not so much on the Aero Classics. So if I have to give, you know, I would say that the uh, the Gemini Jets version does um, is definitely a little bit better than your Aero Classics version. So that part, you know, if you like, um, if you like Aero Classics better, that is cool. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. Uh, I believe in this video that the Gemini Jets version is just a little bit better